We're here in beautiful in the News Bay. We got a group dive today. Had some people come out from Victoria's, Port Alberni. We're here in Madrona. Just gonna dive this shallow little area. Came here once and the visibility was epic and I surprisingly saw a lot of life. And this is a good entry level spot. We're gonna do some diving, a little bit of harvesting. And then following that, we got everyone coming back to my place and we're gonna have a bit of a cookout slash potluck style brunch. I've been really busy the last few weeks. Actually last weekend I didn't dive. First weekend in a long, long time I didn't get in the water. Uh, so I'm excited to jump back in because I'm trying out. My uh, nice camera, you know, kind of crapped out on me. I went to go turn it on after that Lopez trip and it just wouldn't start. So right now I have it in the shop, but I'm uh, making do with a little improvised camera. Uh, 1080p, not the same quality, but better than nothing. This is actually a pretty fun spot to dive when the conditions are right. The problem is, the area is pretty sandy with rock piles scattered about. When the visibility is perfect, finding structure to dive is a breeze, but when the water is murky from the surface, well, that's a different story. A lot of our time was spent searching for the right spots, and while battling current and choppy water, it ended up being pretty tiring. I'll definitely be back here again, but probably not till the winter when the visibility is consistently better. Thanks for the clip, Garrett. Link for his YouTube channel in the comments. It's one of those days. Uh, this morning I kind of slept in a bit later than I wanted to, so I was put in a rush. I uh, grabbed a coffee and I uh, walked out of the gas station without paying for it. They didn't realize, but I did. I ran back in and gave them that two bucks. I decided on that spot uh, that we hit uh, because it's a bit more mellow, but there seemed to be a lot of current and the wind coming in, so uh, kind of tossed up the water. Visibility was good at depth, but not great at the surface. When I was out in the water, uh, I looked at Sean and I saw a dog. Uh, he was in my in my camera bag. I'm like, you better not take my camera. Get to shore, open up the bag, and my camera's gone. My backup, because the other one's broken still. Looked around shore, didn't find it. On the way out, it was hanging out on a log. So at least the owner uh, put it away to the side, and sweet, got my camera back. Trying a different spot now. We're gonna dive around for some Dungeness crab. Uh, we didn't really harvest anything at the last spot, uh, but I know this is a good dungeon area, so see what we find. While diving, we didn't see a single Dungeness. Oh well. I did find this red rock chomping down on a gardener snake. Pretty random. At first I thought it was a rope, but once I realized what it was, I let this little guy eat in peace. Sorry guy, no hard feelings I hope. The diving wasn't anything to write home about, but the potluck was awesome. Everyone brought something along, and it ended up being quite the feast. Ceviche, pasta, salads, nachos, dessert, good company, can't beat it. I feel bad as I've promised to die with so many people and I rarely follow through. Just know it's nothing personal and I have every intention of planning a dive, but the weekend plans fill up fast and months in advance, and it's hard bringing a massive group out to one dive spot. But hopefully we can do some more of these potlucks in the future, as it's a great way to connect groups and get like-minded people together and eat some amazing food to top it off. Where are we, Sayla? I got go. Are we in Victoria? Yeah. Can you see it? That's not Victoria. Say Victoria. Victoria. Yeah. <laughs> We're here in beautiful Victoria. I'm going to be diving the Ogden Point Breakwater. I've had uh, some people ask me to reach out to them when I come here, but uh, unfortunately I planned this out last second. I sent a few invites out. I don't think anyone saw them, but anyways, going to be diving here, a beautiful spot. I've only been here once, and that was March 2020 right during the pandemic, just before everything locked down. I've always wanted to come back to this spot. When I was here, the viz was great. There's a lot of rockfish and lingcod. And today's the day. I uh, picked a good day for it by the looks of it, because there is no swell. And I think we're gonna hit it for a slack, which is also an advantage. I guess just the visibility. That's what, what we'll find out if it's uh, good or not. Excited though, uh, meeting up with Fred. I think Lori too, maybe just Fred. Jasmine, the kids here with us, and they're gonna be hanging out on the dock until we have a fun day here. Time to get wet. Time to actually hike down to the spot and then get wet. How's it going, guys? Good. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. See, yeah, yeah. bird is fun boy. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's fun, buddy. You having fun? Yeah. How much fun are you having? Dad's a real. That's baby for an awesome time, Dad. 
I think Reef was enjoying the day excursion too. Time has come, Ogden Point round two. You gotta watch out for the boats, but they should be aware of us as well. In all seriousness, a dive float is probably a good idea here. On my first descent, I followed Fred down and he pointed out a hefty sized link hood. Unfortunately, the visibility was poor, but at least we had calm conditions. I love diving Ogden. It's a pretty spectacular spot. It's super central and easy to access. It's also full of a huge array of life. Puget Sand King Crab, Octopus, Lingcod, Rockfish, and Molefield are commonly spotted while diving here. In fact, one week after this dive, Fred was approached by a killer whale and he even got to see it while diving. Downside, he didn't have his GoPro that day. Boo. In the Ogden Point dive closure, no harvesting while diving is permitted. Angling is okay, but no spear fishing. Watch out for lost fishing gear, as the risk of entanglement is real. Bring a knife along and a dive buddy to top it off. Though the visibility wasn't great, we made do and still enjoyed the dive. Besides pulling up bycatch and losing expensive fishing tackle, one of my biggest pet peeves from my angling days was all the plastic I left behind on a reef. Fishing line can take a whopping 600 years to decompose in the ocean. I still drop a hook in line from time to time, but nowadays I clean up far more gear than I lose. This Pacific red hermit crab isn't something you'd expect to see in our ocean. What an awesome creature. It's one of my new favorite locals. Fred did have his GoPro with him on this day and he donated some footage. I don't think Laura knew Fred was filming. To be honest, I didn't either and I probably would have had a similar reaction. The dive came to an end, but I had one more spot I wanted to check off the list before the day ended. That dive was pretty awesome, despite the visibility not being too great. We saw a lot of life, uh, schools of rockfish, schools of those needlefish, I forget their uh, formal name, and also a bunch of lingcod. Got to chase a couple down. Yeah, visibility wasn't too great, except in the shallows. I wonder if that's because of the mussels filtering out the water. If the quality and clarity improves as a result, or if it's just a kelp kind of blocking that algae from sneaking by. Uh, really hard to say, but either way, at least the viz was good in some areas. We're gonna take off now. I'm gonna go meet Jasmine and the kids and still have a fun day here in Victoria. What'd you get? Um. What'd you have, Sailor? What'd uh, you get there? A stick glass. You got a lollipop? <laughs> That's not even all of it. That's awesome. That's, That's good... an old coin, I think. Oh, that's amazing. Some good pieces Sailor there. Found that. You got a lollipop too? Mm -hmm. Cool, good and find this, guys. And that's not even all of it. There's more in my pocket. Do you have fun, Reef? Yeah. you have a good time? Oh, Reef got to play with a Frenchie. Oh, really? Named Luca. Why were you, buddy? Do you have fun? Yeah. Hey, I missed you. <laughs> I got some stickers and we got some beach glass. Kids had a fun time here in Victoria, but they need a nap. So we are going to drive out to Sydney, Port Sydney, uh, one of our favorite spots. We used to visit it all the time when we were boating around the Gulf Islands. Now so we're gonna walk around that town and I might sneak into the water. I hear there's a pier where there's some good bottles, but I haven't told Jasmine yet. We'll see. Success on the drive here. The kids are sleeping right now. It took them a while, so I drove around a bit, killed some time, and I'm checking out the James Island Pier. Uh, Tanner, thanks man, told me to come check this spot out. I guess this pier's been here for a long time, so might be some life on it. I stay, no better day to check it out. Now that I'm here, there might actually be some dungeons as well to find. Uh, it could be a good dungy spot. Hopefully, I get the crab. Jazz will be happy. I noticed a no swimming and no diving sign just before hopping in. Call me a rebel, but I went for it. Just before I warned, if you come to this spot yourself. Like you'd expect, there is decent life growing on the pilings, and it never gets old. This spot is shrimp central. I've been prawning, but apparently the shrimp off our coast are pretty tasty too. I'll have to try that out one day. 
I'm not going to over exaggerate this spot, it wasn't overly special, but if you're looking to give back to the ocean, this place is in need of a deep clean. Lots of trash, left, right and center. I found this out of place rock scallop hanging out on the sandy bottom. This guy was meaty, my mouth was watering, too bad they're closed. Lots of garbage, and the only dungeoness I saw was this female. I find it absurd that all diving while harvesting is off limits in areas like the Discovery Passage and the Pacific Rim National Park. We can't even dive for dungeoness crab or red rock. Meanwhile, dropping a trap in those areas is A-OK. -okay. I've yet to lose any equipment while diving for crab, yet I find lost gear on every dock I've ever explored. Clearly, we're not the problem. These traps didn't have a legally required rock cord, which ensures the crab's death as they can't escape. In the Puget Sand in Northwest Strait, an estimated 400,000 crab die each year as a result of these traps. Ensure you know the regs before you go out. Check out the crab floating down to the bottom. It was a female, so it was thrown back into the water from the pier. Crabs have an exoskeleton. The impact from being dropped into the water can displace their organs and be enough to kill them. Use a bucket to lower the crabs back into the water or walk down to the dock and set them free. Injuring and killing females won't help you out in the long run. That was a cool little dive. Thanks Tana for recommending this spot. James Highland Pier. I didn't see any old bottles. Uh, maybe already sweeped up from divers before. But I did find a lot of lost fishing gear. I pulled a few traps out of the water. They didn't have any rock cords and they were full of crabs so they wouldn't have escaped. Ended up just uh, giving them away to people on the dock. Uh, with that said, at least the traps aren't in the water catching more crab going forward. Uh, so though those crab may not survive, at least more won't die. Uh, fun little dip. Uh, kids woke up as I was going in the water. I didn't want to leave Jasmine too long so I uh, made it only a 20-25 minute dive. All good though, uh, we're gonna cruise to Sydney now and walk around the town. I need the coffee, I need some caffeine. Sydney is one of our favorite towns. We actually considered moving here when we were looking at places on the island, but Sydney's considerably more expensive than Nanaimo. The other downside is it uh, puts us really far away from Campbell River and Eucalypt doing day trips out to that region. Wouldn't really be possible if we lived here, so we decided on Nanaimo. But we always love visiting this spot. We used to cruise to Sydney every summer, chill on the Gulf Islands, and this would be one of our top favorite destinations. Sailor and Zai have yet to go to Sydney Spit, but we'll take them there one of these days. Maybe if we ever get a boat again, but with two kids, it's getting harder and harder. Come on, are you going to behave, Sailor? Yes or no? Yes. That's a yes, right? You promise? Yes. Okay, that was a yes. <laughs> Thanks for joining the adventure. Throw the video a like if you enjoyed it. Peace and love.